So what are the common kind of um, pitfalls that you get into or the things that come up that are a bit of a challenge for you? I think first off the bat, most people don't actually realise that they're only working in the business and not on the business, which I yeah. think for you personally, I noticed a huge light bulb go off and you that you were like, wow, okay, so doing all this daily stuff isn't really growing my business, it's getting them done, getting our customers' orders met, but... Getting it done is getting the bills paid and then that's it. But, but in terms of growth, I don't think we really had a clear path until we decided to come and join EOS. We, we knew we wanted to be big and we wanted to grow and make heaps of money and supply wonderful food to everyone. But we didn't know the how. We didn't really know, <laughs> but we didn't really know what that looked like either. And I think working with EOS, we were able to actually verbalize what that looked like and where we wanted to go. I mean, I don't even think any of us knew that we wanted to open another prep kitchen in the South Island until we sort of started thinking, well, hey, let's think big and let's let's do this. And, and let's make it, it work. Like, right, let's do this in a year. So having a goal to work towards. Yeah, really having a goal. I think feeling like of other businesses if you feel like you're hitting the ceiling and you're not getting past especially post COVID you know like you're not getting past you know what can't increase your sales you don't know how to get more customers you've tried all the marketing avenues you've sunk a shitload of money into sorry into Instagram or Facebook or you know whatever and it's just not working I think you need yeah. to strip it right back and just go back to basics and say well hang on a minute is all your team even on the same page <music>